The Bible says the sheep are the Israelites. The sheep are you so-called blacks and Hispanics and Native Americans. You are the sheep of God. The Bible says destruction to these pastors that scatter his sheep, that scatter the Israelites according to the Bible. The book of Matthew, chapter 15, verse 24. Uh -huh. But he answered and said, I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep. The of, lost who? The lost sheep uh -huh. of the house of Israel. The Bible says the Lord is only sent to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. The house of Israel. My sister, have you seen these signs over here? You've been listening for a little minute, right? What we got on this sign is blacks, Hispanics and Native Americans scattered throughout the diaspora, right? Give me that in uh, 64, 2864. All right, the Bible calls us the lost sheep of the house of Israel. And we have been scattered, right? And guess what? We have been scattered through slavery, but the pastors don't make it no better. We are supposed to depend on our pastors to teach us things are right to teach us in the way in which we should go and carry our lives. But if the pastors were doing such a good job, why the hell our neighborhoods look the way they do? My sister, I got a question for you. If the pastors were doing such a great job and that there's uh, uh, churches on every block in the hood, why is it called a hood? Why are our people destroyed? Why do we live check to check? Why do we have baby mama drama? Why don't we have why do we have an abundance of broken families and broken homes? Drugs all throughout the community. Right? Why do we have these things if we got about four churches per block? Per block in the hood. We got several pastors all throughout the community. But we still live in our condition. Still live in the hood. Read that. And the Lord shall scatter thee. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people from one end of the earth even unto the other. The Bible says a curse in the Bible because we broke God's commandments is for us to be scattered. For us to be scattered among all nations. Right? To serve all of these other nations. Right? And there thou shalt serve other gods. Uh -huh which neither thou nor thy fathers have known, uh -huh. even wood and stone. Even wood and stone. That wood going into Christianity, my sister. Have you? What have you learned to this day that you can say has been uh, uh, meaningful in your life that these pastors have taught you? What can we say? There's no fruit or evidence to show that these pastors have done anything for our people. Anything for our people. My brother, what's your name? What? Justin, brother Justin, my name is also Azariah. All right, come and take a look, a look, a look, uh, a look closer. Look at these signs over here. All right, my question to our people today is, what have these pastors done that's in our churches, all throughout our neighborhoods? You might see about three or four on one street in a neighborhood. What, what have they done for our people? That's my question for you, Justin. Huh? Nothing. Are you sure? You see my little. Are you sure? Have they done something for our people? I just want to make sure. I'm in agreement with you. Nothing. They haven't done anything but destroy our people. Go back to Jeremiah. This is, the, this is what our pastors do today. All right? And you can see the fruit because you said they don't do nothing. Right? You can see the fruit. And this is what God has to say about the pastors that teach our people. About the pastors that teach these people right here. All right, which you come from, right? This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 23 and verse 1. Uh -huh. Woe be unto the pastors that destroy and scatter the sheep of my pasture. It says woe. In the Bible, the word woe means destruction, right? To destroy, right? God says woe to the pastors, destruction to the pastors that scatter his people. Who are God's people? Us, why do, why do you say that? How can you prove it? Right, because he created us in his making, right? Right, 
but more specifically, right, blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, we suffer through what is something called the curses in the Bible. In Deuteronomy chapter 28, you can look around in our neighborhood and you can read Deuteronomy 28 and they match up word for word. Every the evidence is all in our neighborhoods, right? All right, this is my sister. You take a look at this sign yet? Do you know who you are according to the Bible? Justin, before you leave, I want you to understand who you are, all right? Come over here and look at this, this sign, my sister. Huh? I'm an African You're an African queen. You're an African queen. Well, guess what the Bible calls you? Because we're not African, all right? There's like several, several countries, like over 100 countries in Africa. Which one do you come from? Right? Which people, which tribe do you come from in Africa? Right? Because look, let me show you something real quick. Go, go to Exodus chapter 11, verse 7. All right? Watch this real quick. All right? It says, which, uh, which would you say your father comes from? What's your nationality of your father? Judah? So he's a so-called African-American? All right. All praises. All praises. That's the same tribe that Jesus the Christ came out of. All right. So you got Jesus Christ's blood flowing through your veins. All right. Read that. This is the book of Exodus, chapter 11 and verse 7. Because, sis, you said, and that's, that's, that's what's been commonly taught, right, in our neighborhoods that what? That we are Africans, yeah. right? Hence, why we put on this sign, because we know our people is going to identify with African-American. But they are not African-American. My sister, you're not an African. All right? None of these people that you see walking out here are the Africans. We are the Israelites. All right? Read this. But against any of the children of Israel. Say that one more time. But against any of the children of Israel. Again, we're talking about the children of Israel, okay? Shall not a dog move his tongue. It says, shall not a dog move his tongue. Right now, right, we were back at once upon a time, the Israelites were where? In slavery underneath the Egyptians, okay? I want you to follow me. We were in slavery underneath the Egyptians. The Egyptians are what color? They, they, they claim to be white. Well, the Bible says that they're black, right? The Egypt, who got a Zonovan Bible Dictionary? If somebody got a Zonovan Bible Dictionary, pull it up. All right? History, the truth, the truth is, history says that the Egyptians, my sister, What's your, what's your name? Marion. Marion. All right. Get hand for me also. All right. It says, uh, you said Marion? Oh, praise. That's a biblical name. So listen, the Egyptians are actually a dark-skinned people as well. All right. Listen to this scholar. This is the Zondervan Compact Bible Dictionary. Ham, the youngest son of Noah, born probably about 96 years before the flood. So Noah had three sons. Right? Remember, the Lord destroyed the world first by what? By water. By water. He That's killed right. everybody on the earth. Yeah. Right? Men, women, and children. He killed everybody on the earth. So today it's about what? Six, seven billion people on the earth. However many it was back then, five billion, who knows? Right? The Lord said, no, five billion got to go except eight people. Right? So read that from the top. The youngest son of Noah. So Noah had three sons. Now we're talking about the youngest son of Noah. Right, one of the people that survived the flood. Read. Born probably about 96 years before the flood. Uh -huh. And one of eight persons to live through the flood. So only eight people survived the entire earth when the Lord destroyed it because of the level of evil on the earth. Right. Yes, God kills my sister. All right. He became the progenitor of the dark races. It says Ham became the progenitor. You know what progenitor means? It means the father, the father, right? The lineage, right? So Ham became the father of all the what? All the dark races, right? But, but listen to this next part carefully. He became the progenitor of the dark races, uh -huh. not the Negroes. Not who? Not the Negroes. So is Ham the forefather of the Negroes as well? No. No. Good. The Egyptians. Uh -huh. But the Egyptians, Ethiopians, uh -huh. Libyans, and Canaanites. Right. So the... That's good right there. Also. Thank you. So my sister, my sister Miriam, it says the Egyptians, right? Because you claim to be African, right? But for so long, we've been taught that. I'm telling you right now, 
We're not the Africans. What is the nation? Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models. Nation is you. And finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord.